What's up you guys? So a lot of you guys have asked what I do for work. I've answered that in a couple other vlogs. I have a company with my brother Sean called Adventure Hunt. We were on Shark Tank, which is pretty cool. Hello Sharks, I'm Sean Bingham. And I'm Jared Bingham. We're from Provo, Utah. And in case you haven't caught on yet, we're brothers. Anyway, so Adventure Hunt, in short, is a localized amazing race. And so I'm actually planning one right now for Salt Lake City. And it's gonna be a ton of fun and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Basically what we try to do is find really cool places in each city that we can take people to. Usually it's places that people have never heard of, they've never been to before. And so we find these really cool places in every single city that we go to. We create a treasure map with clues for people to solve, which is really fun. And as they solve the clues and get closer to each stop, we have an app that will actually recognize when they arrive at each stop and proceed them to the next clue. So it's a lot of fun for participants to be able to solve clues in their city and explore new places, most of the places they've never even been to before. So in order to find cool and unique places in every stop, we try try our best to research the city like crazy beforehand and we use a lot of websites that help us out. Well, some of the websites we use are Atlas Obscura. Basically, it's a website that helps you find tons of like crazy statues and monuments and things that you probably wouldn't even think even existed. So that's a big one that we use and it's super helpful. Another one that we use a ton of is called alltrails.com. That one we use like crazy because on it, it has almost every single hike in the world. But it's super handy and something that we use a lot because almost all of our treasures are buried on or near a trail we found on alltrails.com. But we also try to find historical landmarks. We talk to locals as well in order to find really, really cool and unique spots in every city we go to. Okay, so how the event works is that teams of two to four people complete fun and adventurous challenges. Challenges that I actually come up with. <laughs> and they could be anything that's adventurous, such as like a hike or rock climbing or kayaking, paddle boarding, that sort of thing. Or they could be something that's fun or just funny, such as smashing an egg over your teammate's head. Yes, we do have people do that, and yes, it's hilarious. Having participants do the silly salmon, which is when they run and wiggle really fast like a salmon. Hi like Jackson, silly salmon. <laughs> Or it's just fun activities like doing a wheelbarrow race, three-legged race, that sort of thing. Okay, so in order to participate on the treasure map and access the clues and stop portion of our hunt, what I'm planning right now, you have to complete these challenges first, post them to your Instagram story proving that you actually did them. Our team then verifies that you did them correctly. And from there, within our app, we grant you access to start or begin on the treasure map portion. The entire event as a whole is usually between three hours and five hours for the champs. And yes, I am carrying the treasure chest in my backpack. So it's a ton of fun, you'll definitely be exploring lots of your city. You may go to some places that you already know about. And chances are you're going to see places that you never even knew existed, which makes the event so much fun. Okay, so like I was saying before, every city that we go to, we try to find the most iconic and famous spots in that city. So, of course, here in Salt Lake City, the most iconic spot is definitely going to be Temple Square. Which makes this place so cool is that the building behind me, this temple, was actually built in the 1800s. And it took 40 years to build. And so, that's pretty cool just in itself. Anyway, so you know that there's going to be a ton of stops in this place right here because there's so much history here. standing at right now is called the conference center. Here inside this building, it can seat up to 21,000 people and all of the seats are facing the same direction. So another building that's actually really cool here in Utah is called the Church Office Building, which is this one right here. It's the tallest building here in Utah, and it's about a quarter size of the World Trade Center to kind of give you an idea. It's something that's kind of unique and special about this one that goes along with the clue that I did, is that our family friend, Marsha Miller, actually base jumped illegally off of the top of this building. He and his friend did it and they both did massive gainers off the top of it. So it's a pretty cool destination. So 
lot of you may have heard about Brigham Young University. It's a school here in Utah. What you may not know is that Brigham Young was actually a church leader way back in the day, and he is actually buried here. So this spot right here is a very historical landmark for Utah. Okay guys, so the last clue we usually try to make the hardest, especially when it comes to physical endurance. We usually have the last clue at the top of some big hike. As you can see right now, I'm down in this valley, but almost level right now with the capital. And as you can see, I got a long way to go, and it's really steep. So I actually came from all the way down there, and these are switchbacks that go back and forth. You can kind of see one right here, and that leads up to this point. And now, it's gonna take me all the way up to the top here. At the top of this road, I am actually going to be burying the treasure chest. So this is really exciting. This is definitely a hard one. I am definitely out of breath. And I can only imagine that everyone else that does this route is going to be out of breath because they're going to be running the whole time. For those of you that don't know, inside the treasure chest is tons of prizes from sponsors, plus a free trip to Panama, which is absolutely insane. It's a ton of fun. Brittany and I did it two years ago. It's seriously so much fun. You get to stay in this beachfront villa, go zip lining, we go scuba diving. Anyway, it's an awesome, awesome prize. So you know for sure people are gonna be sprinting up this hill after they sprinted the entire race. So that's why we try to make this one the hardest because there's so much on the line and because only those who dig deep and really want it more than anyone else are the ones who are gonna dig up the treasure first. Okay guys, this is the most exciting part. This is where the treasure is buried. I just buried it right now. I'm not gonna lie, it is really hard to see, especially with me who buried it. So this is gonna be the perfect hiding spot. No one's gonna find this. And in the tree, hidden very, very camouflage-like, is, is the treasure chest. It's that right there, what I'm pointing at. Like I said, this is very difficult to see, and unless you have specific directions of where to go, you're not gonna know where to go. Well guys, I'd have to say that was a pretty successful adventure hunt route. So there's gonna be a couple pins I'll have to change just because the trigger went off a little bit too early, but for the most part, it ran really, really smoothly. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed following along with me today to see how the adventure hunt process works. It is a lot of work, but it is also a ton of fun. If any of you guys are curious about my company, definitely drop your questions in the comments below. I'll answer them as best as I can. We've done treasure hunts just like this one in almost every major city across North America. And once every treasure hunt is completed, we turn that route into what we call a discovery fun hunt. So we now have literally hundreds of these routes planned all throughout North America. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. My car is all the way back there, so I got a long walk ahead of me. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a lot about Salt Lake City, and for those of you that live in Salt Lake City, I hope you discovered someplace new with me today. Until next time, we love you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye.